What's up everybody, my name is Morgan Woods and today is new iPhone day. Okay, so I made a previous video on the iPhone 12 Pro cameras. I didn't actually have a phone in that video, but today we are getting to unbox the iPhone 11 but today we are going to unbox the iPhone 12 Pro in Pacific Blue. Let's not spare any time. Let's just unbox it. Ooh, look at that smaller box. Everybody knows that the best part about opening an iPhone is the wrapper. Just look at that. Okay. Oof. So we do actually have a charging cable inside the box. We just don't have the power brick. Here's the white tab on the front of the display. It's got your little charging icon or your little volume silent power icons. Here we go. Oh, it is actually so nice in blue. Look at that. Okay, so this channel is about cameras. So while we boot this thing up, let me just go over a few of the specs. So this is the first camera in the world to shoot native Dolby Vision. Not even cinema cameras can actually shoot Dolby Vision yet. So the fact that this iPhone is filming it is... I don't even know. I don't even know how they done it. It also has a LiDAR scanner for better night photos and all kinds of better stuff. It's also got a lower aperture on the wide lens, so you let in a lot more light. Let's face it, it's risky business holding an iPhone naked, but oh my god, they are just the best kind of phone to hold naked. Makes a very satisfying sound. So, with no further ado, let's get straight on to testing the cameras on the new iPhone 12 Pro. Now, to help me do this, I have a friend who is going to help me out. Let's go! Okay, so we are here in Sherwood Pines. I'm here with... You can't really see him because he's just bought a one wheel and he's still trying to learn how to ride it. The no, you know, you've got it though. It's there. It's, it's all there. The pieces are there. Just, just fill them in. I'm just filming just in case anything happens. Yeah. I've taken a couple photos already. I'm impressed. I am impressed. Maybe I'm just in a honeymoon stage with having a new phone, but... That doesn't explain the photos genuinely being better. The light is absolutely perfect as well. Like all day it has been raining, so I've been in just the worst mood to try and do this video. But just as we get out here, the sun breaks through the clouds and it just looks awesome. So I have no doubt in my mind that these photos are gonna look absolutely incredible so with no further ado the next clips that you are going to see in fact you know what i'm going to go as far and do this the rest of this video is going to be completely shot on the iphone 12 pro that is a bold statement going from a four thousand pound ridiculously specced 8k camera to a phone Let's see if you can see the difference Right.
Now me and him have literally just been taking a look at all that footage and it is night and day. If you have an iPhone XS, 100% worth upgrading, flat out. If you've got an iPhone XS, drop it, get an iPhone 12 Pro, easy. Yeah, I think if you're gonna, if you're looking to upgrade anyway and you want a new phone, 100% definitely. I think the main thing I noticed is the dynamic range and how clear the photographs are and the videos. But the main, like I said earlier, like if you, if you went on holiday and forgot your camera or your camera ran out of batteries wherever you are, I wouldn't feel as horrified knowing that I had uh, the iPhone 12 in my pocket yeah. because you can still get great looking videos and pictures. It's not the brightest here really, is it? No, it's... Especially yeah. for an iPhone anyway, I mean... It's dark. It's pretty dark. So, the f I don't know how this footage has turned out, but from what I've seen, this is going to look perfectly fine. I'm not going to have a, any issues whatsoever with the lighting on this. So. To round off this video, the iPhone 12 Pro is absolutely insane in the camera department. Everywhere else is also insane. Mike say 5G. So you've seen the difference. You've seen how the iPhone 12 Pro performs. Let me know what you think down in the comments. Like, comment, subscribe, do all the stuff that you already love to do. I will see you in the next one. Bye bye.